Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, if you can't run with the big dogs, you better stay on the porch. Gonzo's Big Dog Vanilla Porter is a 7% porter from Gonzo's Big Dog Brewery in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I mentioned in a recent video that a great thing about Michigan is that you, if you decided to take a road trip to check out a brewery, you'd likely find two or three others right around the corner. Well, in the case of Kalamazoo, you'd probably find more like 10 or 15 that you'd also want to try. Kalamazoo is more of a beer lover's week-long trip rather than an overnighter. So I've seen several different beers from Gonzo's Big Dog Brewery on my local beer store shelves, and I've heard great things about all of them. I recently had Atwater's Vanilla Java Porter at a Detroit Tigers game, so I feel like now I have a good frame of reference to compare this vanilla porter to. And reading Greg Hayner's bio, and he's the gonzo behind Gonzo's Big Dog Brewery, he has a really diverse background, so I'm expecting this to be pretty awesome. As I've learned in the past, though, it's, it's best not to hype yourself up too much because um, it leads you to pretty big disappointment. So hopefully I'm not too disappointed here. So I'm just going to open this up, and uh, I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to reach over and grab, this is a regular old pint glass. I don't have anything super fancy for today. Let's pop to it. And yeah, right out of the can, as I want to do, I can smell uh, vanilla. Smell like a chocolatey kind of smell to it. It smells delicious. I mean, I can't wait to try this based on just the smell. It smells like overwhelmingly chocolate and um, vanilla. I'd almost expect it to be kind of stouty with that kind of smell. I don't really see that out of porters much. So I'm going to go real aggressive here at the end of the pour. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of a head to it. Right around the edge here, I can see it's kind of clear. Maybe that's kind of belying the 7%. I should have smelled that first, but I just got such a strong chocolate and vanilla taste or smell to it. And with the taste, I can get, I get a lot of vanilla out of it. It's kind of a traditional porter. I don't smell so much of the chocolate. Maybe I spoke too soon. It's super sweet up front. Taking a drink in, it's it's just really, it's got a really sweet kind of taste to it. It kind of subsides a little bit. You get the vanilla. Um, and then as it lingers, the aftertaste is actually kind of, it's got like kind of a, it does have a really chocolatey kind of aftertaste to it. Get that one more time. Yeah, definitely. If you let it sit in your mouth, you get the vanilla, you get the kind of toasted, it's like a roasted, a bit of a barley taste to it. And maybe that's where I'm thinking the chocolate comes in. It's kind of really close. It's like you get the roasted kind of barley taste to it, and then it kind of subsides. The aftertaste just kind of sits in your mouth as a, um, as kind of a dark chocolate, kind of bitter chocolate. The mouthfeel, wow, that's just, that's good. It's, the mouthfeel is, is, it's kind of syrupy, kind of thick, but not too thick. It's like, it's a really close syrupy kind of taste. And I think that's more from the vanilla. It kind of feels like it's syrupy, but. Yeah, it kind of thins out. So it's in between. It's wow, I this is really good. So like I said, I had Atwater's um vanilla Java Porter at a Tigers game. And it's hot, you're out in the heat. A lot of people don't think that like the summer is a good time for stouts and porters, but it's porters and stouts are good all the time. It doesn't it doesn't have to be cold fall or the winter or even like early spring to have one. I mean they're just if you're a big porter or stout fan like me, 
um, all year round is perfectly fine because they have so much to offer outside of the normal IPAs or, I don't know, Belgians or what people normally think of as a summer kind of beer. But wow, yeah, that's really good. I, I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting the vanilla strongly, but it's not overpowering. It's really balanced. Um, you're getting kind of that roasted barley kind of taste that you traditionally get from a porter. And then, like I said, the the aftertaste, the back end is is really kind of chocolatey, which is um, something I don't I don't know if I've had in a lot of other porters. But yeah, wow, this is this is really good. So. Yeah, wow. Gonzo out in Gonzo's Big Dog Brewery is killing it with this one. This is good. I could drink this. This is more of a sipper. This isn't crushable. You're not going to like toss them back constantly, but I could sit and sip this for quite a while. It'd be a, it's a good one to sip on. All right, so that's Gonzo's Big Dog Vanilla Porter. What do you think? Have you had that? Have you had this one? Have you had the Atwater Java Vanilla Porter? Which one do you think is better? I don't know. I'm starting to think this um, this Gonzo's Big Dog is is better, even though it's a smaller brewery. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. That that doesn't mean that they can't do better beer. I think this one is actually better if you're a vanilla porter fan. Uh, what do you think? Have you had either? Have you had them both? Let me know which one's your favorite or what you think about the differences between the two in the comments below. And while you're down there, why not click that like button? And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming updates. Also, while you're down there, check out my Instagram page where I post some pictures of my beer hauls or other beer-related activity. There's a link to my Facebook page where I want to start setting up some beer events, maybe meetups or meet and greets or, you know, we can get to know each other. Uh, or check out the link for my blog at drafttherapy.com where I write brewery reviews from breweries all around the state of Michigan. There is a Florida one in there, but it's mostly Michigan. So anyways... Thanks for stopping by as always. I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and until next time, enjoy a little Draft Therapy. Thanks a lot, cheers.